you'll see this. Now I'm going to see if I can turn a pointer on. Ah, there we go. So you can see my mouse a bit clearly now. I've got a little red dot. Fabulous. Uh, ooh, that's a good suggestion. Innovation strategy. Could do something about innovation. Uh, okay, so if you've logged in, you would click new map here. All right. And bear in mind, when you are creating a new map, if you type in the name, here you can type in the main topic, and it'll already start generating some ideas for you. So what topic could we do? Ooh. Let's just let's try innovation. Let's see what innovation brings up. Now here you have the option to make your map private or not. Okay, so I can set whether I want it to be private or I can leave it off and that will share the ideas with the community. Other people can, it will come up in other people's search results, other people can search and find your map and use it. So you can keep it private or you can keep it public. I leave it public, okay, I like sharing. Uh, if you want, you can add a description or some tags. At the moment, I'm just gonna leave those for now. So let's create, let's go with innovation. So this will open up the map. So let's have a look at what we are looking at. We've got three main sections. We've got this whiteboard here, the main area on the whiteboard. Okay. We have related concepts at the bottom here. And that's where the AI will continuously generate suggested ideas, keywords, topics as we go along. So this isn't static. This will change as we go along. You can see already, based on the title alone, we've already got some topics appearing based on innovation. And then on the right, we've got concept details. So this will populate with more things when we start to click on stuff, but it tells us more information, it tells us how popular keywords are, um, any existing text and information on topics that we can use, okay? Simple as that. So let's start with the main topic. Let's put innovation. Now I can either press the app button or I can drag stuff in. So it's nice and easy to I'm going to drag innovation in there. If you want to, you can actually drag more than one thing. So if I want to press this question, I'm on Mac, so I press Command. If you're on PC, you could press Control. And I could select more than one. So I'm going to select both these questions. Okay, I can let go and they're still selected. And I can drag both of these in. There we go. So I've already got some questions coming up. All right. So let's just start researching essentially we're just going to see what it gives us so already with innovation we've got some potential questions that we might use that we might use in our content so what does innovation mean okay and it's giving us some different ideas here maybe in in different countries what is innovation in business so let's have a look you can also see here to go in a bit more detail on uh the section on the right it shows you different metrics so it shows you the search volume the ranking difficulty and, and then the source of those so search volumes obviously important when you think about the keywords that you want to use in content you want to think about how popular is it and then difficulty is you know how, how hard is it to achieve a high ranking in that search result basically how much competition is there so this one's not too bad 84 and that would be out of 100 okay also comes up with more information on there all right so Let's see what other topics we can come up with. So innovation, maybe we need to narrow it down to innovation of particular, um, and a particular topic in particular. So obviously there, I just click load more and it comes up with um, many more suggestions. Okay, what is the role of technology innovation? Now we're starting to get something. So we can look at technology innovation as well. Yeah, and as Mark said, so the green one is a general topic and the blue ones are keywords and questions from search engines. So let's look at this, technology innovation. Now I'm gonna see if I can find, ah, oh, there we go, technological innovation. I'm gonna drag that in as well. So what you can do here as well, if you want to start organizing these, you can press this. Now you can just type in something and add it as a little title if I want to organize it. And then I can group these up by dragging these together. Okay. If I want this to be my central point, I can also link. So I could link to a box 
or I could link to an individual topic. I could link to the topic within the box. Okay, so there's multiple ways of doing links. And that's how you can start to organize what you're doing. So let's, and also you can zoom in and out. If you're getting a bit crowded, you can zoom in and out too. So let's have a look here. Technolo technological innovation. So what might that mean? How might we make some content out of that? If we're looking at some questions, so what is the role of technological innovation in large corporations? That might be your general content idea. So it could be how innovation and technology have contributed to economic growth. It could be business models. So these essentially could be headings that you're putting within your content as well. So your overall topic might be te technological innovation and you might have individual topics within that. So we're getting all sorts of different ideas in here. Now, you could keep doing this for, you know, half an hour, but I'm not gonna, um, we're just gonna <laughs> use what we have for now, just for your benefit. So you, you're not, you know, cause obviously when you're researching on your own, you could just spend ages finding as many keywords as you can. But for the benefit of this demo, we're just gonna stick to this particular thing. So what you can also find on the right here is suggestions of more information. So you can dig a little deeper. So here we have things like service innovation is used to refer to many things. So these include, but not limited to innovation in services, service products. So you've got some more information on this text on the right. Now I can pin this to the top. Okay, I can copy it and make a note. So if I come over here, click the three dots and add a note. Okay. So you can find more uh, additional information. So yes, that's a good question as well. So when we search here, we can filter what we're searching for. So if we click on this filter, you can filter for personal. So that's concepts and topics created by you related topics. So that's the internal knowledge base community. So remember I said earlier when things were private or not private. So anything that's not private, that'd be the community. Um, you know, including what people put in manually, you know, what they find and what they link. Um, and then trending questions and related keywords from search engines. So if I only want trending questions, okay, I can filter trending questions and keywords, I can filter that. So look, here if I filter only to keywords, only to questions rather, I've now only got questions in here. So now I can, you know, drag multiple questions in. So that's one filter. Um, you can also filter this on the, the notes as well. You can filter based on internal knowledge base. So again, you community Wikipedia, whether it's an article um, online, whether it's scientific literature or whether it's automatically generated AI text as well. Can you limit by rank difficulty or search one? I'm not sure if that's a feature yet. Marek will be able to answer that. It's on the roadmap. Yeah, something on the way. It's a good suggestion though. Uh, it's definitely something that's on the way. So what we can also look at, so, if we click on the cog, so someone spoke about um, filtering or choosing a target country. So if we click on the cog here, here we have search scopes. So that is the filter we went on earlier. See, so it's still on questions. Okay. Now, you can also target a specific country. So as I'm in the UK, I've targeted the UK, but you could target any of these countries here okay so this affects the keywords and the questions not the related topics um they're currently always in english but the plan also on the roadmap is just add more languages so if for example um you know we had someone if you're in the us you could set that to us and press done and then these would then look for us related topics as well if we go back to this, there's also a couple of cool features. There's auto link, automatic adding of relations when a new concept added, and um, 
straight links. So it makes these links here straight lines rather than curvy ones. So whatever your preference is, you can do it like that. Now with this, it's so flexible to how you want to use it. So if you want to, you know, use it like this and have a group and these be subheadings, that's fine. If you want to, you know, do it in a different way and link them together, you know, so you might link one thing to the other as a sort of roadmap. That's also fine. You could format it like that. If you wanted to almost add comments to something, so you might say, you know, um, you know, like you might want to say that's a, a core idea. Like you might link that to that almost like a comment. There's so much flexibility with this, which is really cool. Okay, so we've covered a lot of features already. Um, so we've been able to find keywords, find questions, do our research. We've been able to organize these questions. And then once you've got all that, you can sort of come up with a strategy. So, you know, this might be a, a roadmap of headings. You might want to say if I created a box that said article and put it here and I move these into that box like so so that might be one article this might be another article this might be another one you could then link these boxes and say you know this is the order you're going to do it Ooh, kind of linked it on itself but you get you get the idea um, all those kind of things so once you've done all that you're going to want to share it okay so with your ideas mapped out, you might want to share it with stakeholders, colleagues, clients, the community. Now, if you press the share button up here, the big green button with the link, um, you can send a link directly to the map. So you can copy it, paste it in an email, wherever, you know, on Slack, wherever you want to send it. Um, and anyone with a link can explore the map in read-only mode without having to log in. So you can send it to anyone, even if they don't have the app. Um, you know, they can still read it and look at it. If they do log in, they can create a copy, edit it, and send it back to you with their own ideas and edits as well, which is really cool. Or if you press the gear button and click map actions, you can also share it in a variety of different ways. So you could export it as text. You could um, create a PNG, a PDF. Um, or a vector so you could easily illustrate your ideas in a pitch in an email in a strategy meeting on zoom you know in a powerpoint presentation if you're going back to the office however you want to do it you can you know export it and it will come up in a really cool visual way so you can create your visual ideas and then present them you know the power of visualization is so important um, you know people tend to pick up the ideas much better than if you were listing all of these as bullet points so it's a really cool way of uh, sharing your ideas as well um, and with all that all these maps automatically get saved yeah you see that it's automatically saving um, so you don't have to worry about losing things and if it's saved you can always come back to it later reuse previous content ideas refer back to different ideas and adapt them okay so not only can you create your own maps but you can find other people's. So if I go back to the main page, up the top is a search bar. So if I click on the search bar, I can search public maps. Okay, here we go. So I can click on that. So if I wanna type in innovation, see what anyone else has done. Maybe someone else has made one. Oh. Various things coming up. So someone's made a map here. So this is a public map. They haven't made it private. I can open it up and see what they've done. So this is quite cool. And they've made some notes as well. So they've tagged on some notes about deliverables. So you can see here, this is about, I think it's about communication design. And they've linked deliverables. And you can see how they've formatted it. How they've chosen to do it is, you know, they might, you might want to group these up. 
but they've included deliverables, the definition of deliverable, what it means, and so on. So they've made notes, tag particular keywords and topics. Okay, so you can see how other people have done it. And that's what I love the most about Contest Minds, is you can not just make your own things, but you can share it with a whole community of people also coming up with ideas. And it's saying that because it's it's not saved and I don't want to save it, so I'm just going to leave. So even if you accidentally press back, you know, it's not the end of the world. If it hasn't auto-saved yet, because it will give you a little warning. Okay? So we've covered, let me just check, I think we've covered all the key features. You know, as I say, like even on here, I can share the map, I can delete the map, change the map settings from here. If I want to make it private afterwards, I can make it private. So you can sort of, you can see all your previous maps here. You can sort them. So if they're alphabetical or the last time you edited them, so you can always go back and find your old maps. Okay, and that's where the pro version comes in as well because you can um, do a few more things with it as well. So, let me just check if I haven't missed anything at all. I think I've covered most things. I mean, you can make this bigger, you can read more, you can scroll down, you can copy more things in. On here as well, you can see the uh, question volume and the keyword difficulties. So yeah, start putting your questions in. If there's any questions about, if there's anything you think I haven't covered or anything you'd like to know about this app, anything you want to know if you can do in it and how you might do it, I'm hoping this has given you a good idea of, you know, what is in there. A demo on bicycle niche. Oh yeah, let's go for it. I'll do a very quick, I'll do a very quick one for you, Rakesh. So if you want to do something on bicycles, right? New map, bicycles. Boom, straight away. Uh, coming down here, you're gonna have different bicycle things come up. So, you know, if I click on bicycle, you can see search volume, ranking difficulty, 99. Obviously, the word bicycle on its own is gonna be very tricky. So you would want something a bit more niche. So you might ask about, okay, was it invented or infrastructure or, you know, whatever you do with it, you're gonna to have to pick or try and come up with a niche. You wanna narrow it down. And this applies to any, any kind of research you do, um, is you try and narrow down your topic. And this is what Contest Minds can help you with as well. Yeah, you've got the difficulty, so you want something that's a bit more narrowed down. So even this, when was it invented? You're all, you know, you're talking about the history of the bicycle. You're already narrowing it down. The difficulty goes down. Okay, so that you know that might be how you do it. And I could even type that in: history of the bicycle. You know, that could be an interesting article, interesting topic. So when was it invented? Okay, what was the inspiration? Okay, could be, uh, now in my mind I'm thinking who invented it, and if I can't see it there, I can just type it in. Who invented the bicycle? There we go. So, yeah, and you just carry on from there. So does that make sense, uh, Rakesh? I can even write, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this. I'm gonna put it in the chat and you can carry on where I've left off. How about that? <laughs>